This is the first Nengo model we have seen which includes learning. At the beginning of the simulation, the switch is turned to zero and hence learning is turned off. Consequently, we will see there is no particular relationship between the presynaptic decoded value and the postsynaptic decoded value. The purpose of this circuit is to learn a communication channel between the pre- and postsynaptic populations. The connection weights between those populations are reflected by this graph, which as you can see is not changing because learning is turned off. When we set this switch to 1, the error signal now reflects the true error in the circuit and the weights begin to change. As well, the postsynaptic population more accurately reflects the activity in the presynaptic population. As time passes, the error signal decreases and the input, which is reflected in the presynaptic population, is now also being better reflected in the postsynaptic population. The rule which is being used to learn these connection weights is a spike timing dependent plasticity type rule, but one which includes error information as well. Learning gets better largely because the input signal begins to go across the entire domain of possible signals, giving a better sampling of the space of possible representations to the postsynaptic population. Again, we can see the changes in the weights reflected in the difference between the connection weights now and what they looked like at the beginning of the simulation.